What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Rutgers Dynasty mode. Here in the bye week, just getting ready for playoffs. We are 10 and 2, ranked seventh in the whole CFP, which is crazy. The highest that Rutgers has been ranked before is seven. Or it's anywhere between five and eight. I remember I looked it up in uh couple episodes ago so we are in historic positions here i just wanted to show you guys like what uh what player of the years there are you know head coach of the year we are at eighth which is kind of cool but you know give it up to uh uh was it texas state north texas over here appalachia boston college with those uh great records they deserve it uh, best quarterbacks, you know, Shep's up there at 10. That's pretty cool. You know, he is a sophomore, so he will have a couple more years of that. Uh, defensive players. Nobody is up there for our teams for uh, defense. Running back, uh, we got Kyle up there at 12, which is cool. Receiver, nobody. Uh, the Lombardi Award, nobody. Unitas, uh, nobody. Defensive end. We do have Lewis up there, but he is injured, which sucks. I'll go over uh, injuries at when the next game comes. At, not the next game. When the next game is up. But, yeah. Uh, as you can see, we do have Torre. He is second for best linebackers. So, that is pretty cool. You know, he's almost there. But, you know, he is a senior, so he will be drafted this year. Hopefully high. I, I hope for him to be drafted high. You know, that does help us, too. But yeah, those are the lists. Just wanted to run through that real quick. Bowl, uh, the college football bracket, we are in it. We are going up against Indiana, who is also in our uh, conference. So that is cool. We'll be going up with against them. It kind of, it's so weird to have Oregon, uh, USC in here, UCLA. I wish uh, the, the next time I do one, even though it's going to be far down the line, I will... Re reunite the Pac-12 just for that, but we are in this one. Uh, recruiting, I've done the recruiting already. I spent m uh, most of the hours. Um, I did add a couple more people to try to get. You know, we have a couple four-star receivers, which is cool. Um, ooh, I have some unused points. I might as well uh, try to use them all. You know, get as as many people as we can today. Yeah. Um, try to get as many people as possible, you know, fill out as many positions as possible before we head into the off season and et cetera. So that will be cool. Um, yeah, the, uh, these are the people I had Coker, you know, it's a long shot to get him, but we do have a scouting tier in that area for prospects. So it's a long shot to get him, but we can try, you know, need to make this defense a little better. Uh, I added Cunningham. I added uh, uh, Marabil Connor. That's a long shot for him. So I added. I did add a couple people too, just to see if we can get them. But let's head right into the next week. Next week should be a game. So we're gonna jump into that sim. That that would be cool. You know, hopefully, hopefully we win. All right, we got a recruit here out of Buffalo, New York, Avon Chubb. That's cool. Welcome to the receiving core. Uh, ooh, we we jumped up for a couple of these guys at Cunningham. We got, we jumped up to number one. That is cool. So hopefully we can get him. Cunningham, we jumped up to number one because none of the other schools are looking at him. So that helped. Clinton, we're up to number one. Uh, Adai, we're up to number two, but it's going to be hard to beat out North Carolina. We did get a commit. And then uh, one of our ends, you know, he went to JMU. It's it's okay. I'll look at that at the transfer portal, whatever, in the offseason. We do have another uh, week off because this is the uh, conference championships. Uh, I do – I did want to fire these guys, but they have one year remaining. We had such an amazing season, 10-2. and two. Let's give them another chance. I did want to bring in better coaches, but like I said, we had – an amazing 10 and 2 season. So I just want to keep that rolling. Uh, 
hopefully that helps with their prestige. Hopefully that helps with our prestige. I mean, we had such a high this year that it's going to be hard to replicate, especially with some, with most of our seniors moving out. And then uh, we didn't get the best recruits, but we did get some of them. So it'd be hard to replicate, but next year is next year's problem. Let's advance again. Uh, in this week, I did get a level up, but hey, for uh, some of our guys, we are we did jump up to number one. Uh, East Coastal Carolina is also going for Coker. I hope they don't get him. We do need him. Uh, Pitt is also going for Brita, a middle linebacker that we do need. So uh, I hope we don't lose him to them because I'm tired of losing defensive players to other teams. Dylan Gabriel did win the Heisman, 43 touchdowns, six interceptions. Good for him. Uh, I would like to see a running back find, win that Heisman again, but it's been going to a lot of quarterbacks. Indiana College uh, football playoffs, here we go again. All right, just looking at the, the top of the classes, we are 45th. That is cool. You know, we had every, pretty much everyone was three stars. We did get a couple of two stars. Man, I wish, we, we did lose out on so many four, on a few four stars, especially on the defensive side, and that would have been absolutely great to get them. But, you know, to be fair, I don't think anybody down here got uh, a five-star person. I mean, if they did, good for them. They, you know, they deserve it. But, you know, most of the five stars did go to the top teams. So, I mean, what do you expect from that? Like Ohio State, damn, they got five five stars. I wish we had one, but I would take more four stars over five stars just to help um, move along the team. Staff moves. Let's just see who moved around the league. Why not? A bunch of firing and all that. Let's just see head coaches. A lot of firings going on here. Damn. Nebraska fired their coach, so new coach going in for them. Michigan State. I did see a comment where I called Michigan, Michigan instead of Michigan State. That game was just crazy, but Michigan State. Here we are. Uh, retired from West Virginia, 6-6. Six and six. Eh, all right. it is what it is. A lot of firings, not a not many hirings. They went to the NFL, C Prestige. Mm. Okay, I guess. A lot of firings here. Nebraska fired a, a couple of their coaches. Went to the NFL. I mean, yeah, six and six record. They got to know somebody. All right. Uh, that's just the uh, staff moves. Let's look at uh, job offers. Who's offering us a job? Michigan State offensive coordinator, no way. Nebraska wants us. Job upgrade. I'm trying to upgrade Rutgers. Job upgrade for Pitt. Don't. Oh, that's an OC. No, I'm not going to go to OC. I'm a head coach. I mean, I did start as OC, but you know, it is what that is what it is. Let's uh, upgrade our coach abilities. You know, let's add one to cross train over here. Uh, that'd be good. And then let's add one to uh, ooh. I was going to add one to quarterback, but let's get one for our running backs here. You know, get that running game going. So those are a couple upgrades for us. Uh, recruiting, I'll worry about that again from this offseason going on. But it's a big game going on here against the Indiana Hoosiers. We did not play Indiana this year, so it's the first meeting between the two teams. I'm excited for it. It's the college football playoffs. It does say Indiana's the better team here, but... It all matters what the heart is. And this team, I know they won't go down easy. I will see y'all on the sideline for this college football playoff game. Well, that's kind of funny. They uh, they got the seedings completely wrong between the two teams. They said number nine and number eight, but it's uh, eight against seven here. Um, let's just get into this. Let's go right to the next plays and see what happens. We get the ball first. I should be playing this game, but I'm a coach. I could be setting up the plays from the sideline. I didn't find there's a coach mode, but I don't. Want, I should have influence in this game, but right now I'm just setting it up like this. Um, I'll try that coach, uh, coaching, uh, next season, see how that works. I'll be setting up the plays in that for them, 
But for now, I just want to see that it's not a good start. A fault, uh, some type of penalty on the offensive line, five yards, probably a delay game, false start, something. Whatever. Let's get those five yards back. We go big there. Nice big pass. There we go. We've got a nice drive going down the field. Penalty probably against the defense. Incomplete pass. A four-yard rush there. Another four-yard rush. Well, at least we get a field goal. We get, All we need is some points. Defense stand tall. Fourth and two. We get the ball back. A nice pass to Kono. Let's go. Let's keep driving down the field, boys. Don't do that. Big sack. Big sack against us. We can't do that. We kick the ball back. It is playoff football in the col in the college in the CFP, but you know, it's all it's all about heart, guys. It's against Indiana. Show them who's who's the better team. Come on, guys. Third and ten. Get a stop here. Ooh, what a big rush! Uh, he broke off a sixty. That sucks. All the way down to the red zone. Just keep him out. Nope. No touchdowns. First and goal. Come on. They get a touchdown. The next play. A rush by the quarterback, Curtis Rourke. Rourke, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. Don't mean to butcher them, but I do. McCormick got the extra point. Kickoff by the punter. Let's go, guys. No, no five and out. Uh, no five and outs. No four and outs. End of the first quarter. It's we just need first down after first down. Come on, one yard. We lose three yards. He's sacked, guys. It's third and one. I would have ran the ball there. Come on. They give up another big run chunk play. Fourth and three. We get the ball back. Come on, guys. There we go. Just keep the ball moving. Keep the ball moving. Second and ten. Third and seven. Just get the first down. Fourth and four. Three yards. It's a field goal. We're only down by one. Defense, I need you to stand tall here. Come on. Third and four. Fourth and 13. Is that big sack? That is sack for ten yards. Moses Walker. Nice. Senior coming in for that. All right, ball, we got the ball back here. Two minutes left. We got three timeouts. Just take your time down the field, guys. We got pinned, but just take your time. Three yards. Just get the first down. There we go. Now let's keep moving the ball down the field. That was probably a big penalty on the defense, but let's keep the ball moving down the field. Somebody's hurt. Uh, I should have looked at injuries before that. I'll do it at halftime. Let's just keep going. Third and f You know what? Take the points. No points for them, please. We knock, we knock the pass away. That's beautiful. So, a sat, a, a negative two yard rush. It's third and twelve. Get, get. There we go. Get the ball back. Nice rush. Nice rush. Good job, Kyle. Fuck yeah. Good job. And that is halftime. Halftime nine to seven. It, this is a defensive game. It, we'll take that. Not bad. Um, I would like to have at least one touchdown there. We're going to head into coaching here real quick just to look at injury report because I forgot to. We're missing a couple people here on defense. Uh, torn peck by Lewis. That happened in, um, uh, I forget, um, Illinois game. It happened a while ago, which sucks. Powell's out for a couple weeks. That's big. Another senior on the D-line, and then one of our defensive tackles is out. So we got a couple injuries there. Uh, just an injury for them on their O-line, but, you know, it's one injury. Come on, boys. Um, I know the where I know we're kicking off first, but we can do it. Just, we need to win the turnover battle. We need to get a turnover. All right. First and 10. Second and 10. And big yard rush. They're just running the ball on us. Third and five. Fourth and three. They do get a field goal. We're only down by one. We just... Need, come on, let's get this first down. Fourth and inches. Ooh. Fumble recovery. The punter fumbled the ball. Okay. That's a hell of a way to give up some points, and they get a touchdown. All right. So the punter fumbles the ball. I've seen that so many times, even on my own in, in offline. Like, how, how are they fumbling the ball? We're at home here. We should have home field advantage. But Shep... Please lead them down the field like you're doing here. Third and ten, get this first down. You know what? Patel's four for four on the game. Let's just keep that going. We can't not – we're giving up points. Not giving up. We're leaving points on the board here by not getting touchdowns. Um, after I might jump in on one, one drive this game depending on how it goes. Is that 
penalty against the defense. Beautiful. We get that first down. Come on. Nope. Four and out. They go down the field. They do get a field goal. We are down by eight. I'm jumping in with four minutes left. Let's see if I could uh, spark something here. It is my first play of the game. It is my first play of the game, so let's see if I could get something done here. Just start with a simple run play. We go nowhere with that. Okay. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this drive going here. Be looking for Kono, even though Kono's on a bad matchup. Kono to Miller. Miller's double covered. Yeah, I, I forced that. I force that. I am selling. All right. This is fourth down territory. We we do mic that guy, even though he might be coming on a blitz. Let's just get some type of yardage here. You know, let's roll out. Get that first down. Shep. Shep goes fourth and in inches. Even though that was a first down, I I knew I know that was a first down. He was definitely over line. But let's not turbo it. But let's rush to the line. There we go. We got that first down. Just nice, nice, easy plays down the field. We do need a two-point conversion to tie it up. Long's on the matchup we're looking for. But let's see if we can get something here. We got the running. Kyle was at. We had Kyle open out of the backfield, but I don't know what happened there. We overthrew it or something. This play, let's go over the read option just to see if we can get some yards. Oh, beautiful. He bit. Go, Shep. Ooh, come on. Is that Dremel on the outside there? Dremel, I need you to just hold that block just a, a smidge longer. We could go deep attack. Uh, I, I love how the coach is uh, suggesting pretty much the same plays. I need a play here. Play action sweet. Do they not save any of my plays? Oh, that's great. Let's go play action flood here because I like it. It's four down territory. Long's on a good matchup, but I will be looking for Kono to long. Kono to long. Kono's open. I know that's a red pass, but I got it off. Good catch by Kono. All right, not bad, not bad. I love these uh, passes you're suggesting, uh, OC. It's pretty much all the same ones. All right. You know what? I'm switching it to run just because I normally don't like this play. I need time to get uh, long open, and sometimes I don't have that. Kyle up the middle, though. He gets us nine, eight, nine yards. Not bad. It's a good drive. Gun Z spot. I normally like that play, but we're going to hit another inside run. Never mind. It's two-minute warning. Um, we're just going to go Z spot. Go. Normally, that's a good one for Miller, but Dremel might be open here. Let's see. Let's see. Are they in zone? Uh, they might. Yeah, they might be. Let's send Kyle out a little bit further. Kyle's open, but I can get more yardage this way. Don't fumble the ball. There we go. Let's go no huddle. We want to keep as much time on the clock as possible for us because they can absolutely go down the field and get something. Long's going to be open right over the middle there as long as the middle linebacker doesn't creep in. That's it. Just go down with it. Let's... Uh, Go play action shot. But let's have you on a deep crosser right over the middle. Whoop. There we go. Second and three. We can go QB's draw, but let's go just inside zone here. That's going to be the mic. Kyle, right down in into the end zone. We go. That is beautiful. We do have to go for two here. So I am going to go goal line fork just because I normally like these kind of plays. Uh, Kyle, let's put you on a Texas. Ooh. I know I know they were open, but I just had to roll out of the pocket. We tie the game up right down the field. Not bad. Now it's up to the defense. I did my part. The defense needs to cut. Did we get the ball? 
Fumble recovery. Holy shit. Fumble recovery. All right. Defense needs to do their part. It's a big pass down the field. We get another one. Interception by Moses Walker, the senior. Let it let's go, and we win the play uh, the first round of the college playoffs. What a huge comeback in the fourth. Oh, my. Huge game there in the playoffs. We did beat Indiana. Um, I know I had to jump in there to save the game, but next game we're going up against Oregon, the number one team in the country. So that is going to be a huge, huge game. I did get Coach XP from that. Let's put it back on there to Scheme Guru. Um, let's... Mm, Let's throw it on quarterback so we can have a better game. And uh, this team is a pretty offensive team, so let's throw it on the receivers there, even though that, add, that just adds run block and stuff like that. Let's throw it on the receivers, get a little bit more in there. Uh, next game, just because uh, I did go down to the field like that, mm, uh, I might or might not play against Oregon because I don't want to have – uh, influence over the game. So we'll see about that. Okay, that's the next week. But just to give it, give uh, you know, starlight to him. Bo Masco, sophomore player of the week through uh, bowl, through the uh, bowl week for week one. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Bo, on that. You outdid yourself. You helped win us that game. Um, it's the next week. We're going up against the number one team. Uh, just curious. What are the coaching options? Eh, head coach at Central Michigan and Louisville. Nah, I like Rutgers. I'm going to stay at Rutgers. And then uh, the brackets. This is what the bracket is looking like after the first week. Baylor versus North Texas. North Texas upset Ohio State. That's crazy. Wow, Michigan railroaded North Carolina State. They're going up against Tennessee. Georgia beat Penn State in a close one. They're going up against Boston College. So I, I guess the underdog team is North Texas here. I mean, it's crazy how they're good in every sim in the first couple seasons. But we are going up against a massive team here. We are the underdogs, but we do like to run the ball. 180 rushing yards. Uh, They're just a much better overall team here, but it doesn't matter. We got the heart. I will see y'all in the game. Here we are, here we are, lads. The Rose Bowl against Oregon, sponsored by Prudential. So, in-state home team or home company, whatever. Prudential sponsoring this game. We have to do it for Prudential. We are here in the Rose Bowl against the top-ranked team. Can we pull off an upset? I know this team can do it. We have the heart. It'll be crazy if we do this year. So we are driving down nicely down the field, but we stall after the first first down, and then we have to punt the ball away. Come on, boys. Let's just keep Oregon out of the end zone most of the time. They ha we had a third and 13. We gave that up. Third and four. Can we stop them? No. First and goal. They get a touchdown. All right, boys. Third and inches. Fourth and three. This is not going to be. It is what it is. Uh, this is not going to be what I'm, I'm hoping. It's not going to be a blowout. Words are tough. Wow. But 
they uh, Oregon shot themselves in the foot here with some, two penalties back to back. But can we keep them from getting the first down? We get a massive turnover by Flip Dixon. What a huge interception that puts us in the red zone, right on the goal line, or well, at the ten yard line. But can we punch it into the end zone? Come on, guys! Third and eight, fourth and eight. We had a chance to get it into the end zone. They do not a goal line stand, but a red zone stand. They they took points off the board from us. We can't keep Oregon from driving down the field. Wow. All right. 14-3. to three. Come on, offense. We can do it. Fourth and seven. We have to punt the ball away again. They're just running it on this, this whole drive. Now they decide to pass Dylan Gabriel, the Heisman winner. Oh, he's just slicing and dicing us up. This is – ooh, we had a nice rush there. Set the tempo, boys. Come on. Ah, we get a penalty or a sack. Sacked for six yards. Fourth and three. We do get it back. I would go for it. We, we, either he fumbled the ball, <laughs> or we did a fake play and we lost yards on that. Might as well just line up on offense and and try to get the first down. But it's whatever. They are just wow. Dylan is just tearing up this defense. Twenty-three to eight before halftime. It is not looking good. We give we turn the ball over. What was that? Touchback, sixty-nine, ten-yard penalty. What what happened there? Uh, it doesn't say what happened there, but okay. Halftime. Oregon gets the ball after half. Wow, they go down in in one play. Dylan Gabriel is just torching us, thirty-five to three. We have to score a touchdown here. We do get a touchdown at least. That's not bad. Can we just stop them, though? Can we get one more stop? No, we cannot. Yeah, they go down the field. They put up – it's 42-10 to 10 here. All right. Yeah, we're getting torched. We got the ball back. Uh, nope, Oregon gets the ball. You know, it's 49 to – it's 49 to 10. You know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm, it, you know what? I'm going to put all the, all the freshmen in. Just, I'm just going to give them time. Shep's already out. We're getting, we're getting blown out. Uh, Athen, uh, I would have you in here, but you know, Ath I would, I was going to put the, put, um, the freshmen in, but Ath, I'll put you in there. Why not? Let's get the let's get the freshmen in. Let's just see what we got in in depth. So I'll meet you back when I'm done with that. All right, everybody, all the freshmen, sophomores, and stuff like that, they're in now. Let's just see what we got. Oh, first play is an interception right off the bat. Fantastic. Uh, let's just see what we got on defense here. Why not? Oh, I got I got through, but I didn't get them. We're just let's just keep playing. Wow, they still got their starters out. That is disrespectful, uh, Oregon. Oh, we got a flag. Come on, number five. No hitting out of bounds. Uh, well, Dylan Gabriel is going to uh, get another touchdown here. I just know it. Oh, yeah, the next play. All right, well, let's go out here and try not to turn the ball over. Wow, what, what a beat down. But I knew this was going to happen. I mean, Oregon, they're the number one team in the league, and they have a Heisman winner for a reason. But we, we tried to stand, stand tall to a uh, top-ranking team, and this, what this is what happens. It's okay. 
Wow. I knew I could have I knew I should have threw the ball away there, but yeah, that's what happens. I I could I could have tossed it to him, but I just didn't. Screw it. Let's uh, let's have fun here. Let's have a uh, wildcat. Why not? Oh, oh no. Oh, that's what happens. That they uh, they did not get fooled by that whatsoever. Oh, go. Oh, he gets. Oh, he almost got the first down. He almost did. Oh, booth review. This is still a turnover on downs. I mean, it was 16 yards. I mean, now we still got out of bounds. Yeah, that sucks. Wow. Oregon really, uh, Put it on, I mean, another interception that Oregon really put it on us. They whooped us by 53. Damn. That, uh, that hurts. That really does hurt. Let's just take a look for the stats, stat lines here. I don't even want to try to look at Oregon's. Just, we, I mean, we went up against the Heisman winner there. But Shep, 47% completion, I mean, it's a lot better than, I mean, Athens was playing with backups there, uh, but it's okay. Uh, sorry, Kyle, I couldn't get you a, a trophy or anything for the Rose Bowl, but we did get a playoff win. Thank you for your services, Kyle, Shep, uh, Kono, uh, Kono, thank you, uh, Long, thank you, Dremel, thank you, um, yeah, once again, uh, thank you. Um, Pierce, thank you. Good luck. Good luck, Felter. Uh, just, yeah. Defense. Did we get any sacks? Nope. Uh, Torrey, thank you. Bailey, thank you. Ray, thank you. I thought Walker was a, a senior. I was thinking of the wrong linebacker. But thank you to all the seniors. An 11-3 season, that is am amazing. A winning season in the first year of Rose Bowl appearance, appearance, a playoff win. I couldn't have asked for any better after this first season. I'm just happy we even made it into the playoffs. And as a number seven seed, that is great. I'm going to advance here. Um, we're still at risk at losing some players. Uh, it does suck. But hopefully next year that does help. I mean, we're two and a half stars here. So after this appearance, I'm hoping next, um, the following year, we will get a, another star, the college football bracket here. Let's see who's playing. Top four is North Texas upsets Baylor, which is, uh, uh, yeah, Baylor, which is crazy. Then you got Michigan and Georgia. So, wow. North Texas is the Cinderella story. Car uh, coaching carousel, uh, uh, user all openings. We got any uh, head coaches, FAU, Holy Toledo, Colorado State, Bowling Green. Wow, Texas State wants me, Carolina, the Gamecocks want me for, for two positions and then Liberty. I'm not going to any of you. I'm sticking here at Rutgers. Uh, let's sim it another week here. I'm going to leave it in the, the complete off season. Um, Root. Brings us to the top three, and we have somebody else in the top three. That is cool. So hopefully we're going to get them. Uh, Eric, that's cool. We're still number one for him. We need that. Um, it's the national championship here. Uh, Oregon beats North Texas. That was a close game. Wow, North Texas, you did good there. Congratulations. I mean, you almost you came within a score of beating them. But it's going to be Oregon versus Georgia.
let's just hit it to the next week and then I'll probably leave it here because um, I don't want to miss anything. I want to have an, a full off season uh, video of bringing people in and all that. Oh, we went up by one whole star. We're three and a half stars now. This is going to be, hopefully that helps with recruiting, getting uh, some four stars in here. I'm going to leave it on this screen, end of the season recap. We'll go into next season from this screen. Oregon is your national championships team. So we lost to the eventual winners. Um, congratulations, Oregon, 15 and one season. That is crazy. Um, I would say 17 points is a blowout almost, but there was no, uh, it was pretty easy for them. North Texas took our seventh uh, rank there. So congratulations to them. We are still top 10. I'll take that. So that is cool. Uh, coaching contract. We finished 11 and three. Uh, almost the best finish. Well, technically the best finish since 2006. So I'll take that. Um, my job is safe for now, as long as we don't have a huge regression next year. But we'll take that. Uh, coaching abilities. Did we get any? I'm a B prestige now. That's huge. Uh, the OC and DC are still C's, but that is uh, the way it is. Next episode will be the whole off season. Um, I appreciate all the uh, love that you guys are giving me. Um, uh, I will say it here and in, I'll put, yeah, I'll say it twice. Thank you for 250 subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate every single view, every single comment every single like everything it is amazing that you guys are even watching these videos i'm having fun making them i'm having fun reacting to you guys uh reacting to the comments and everything um if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe i'd like to hear from this ruckers fan base um on how it's going but until the next episode enjoy the rest of y'all day enjoy the sunny weather outside wherever you are. I will see you in the next episode with the off first official off season with the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Uh, peace.